Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us discuss about integrating ASP.NET Core Web App with Azure Graph API. Uh, in my channel, there is already a video for the same, but in that we haven't used Azure AD and dependency injection, but in this we are using them. First, we have to go to portal at azure.com. If you do not have an account, you can create one for free. And here we have to go to Azure Active Directory. If this icon is not visible to you, you can search Azure Active Directory over here. And after that, we have to add an app registration. So click on Add and App Registration. And I'm giving this as Graph API DI Demo. And clicking on Register. So it creates an app registration. App registration is a placeholder in Azure. Azure uses uh, this information to validate our application when it is running. And after that, we have to give API permissions. As we are going to use Graph API in our demo, we have to go to API permissions. And here we have to click on Add Permission. And Microsoft Graph and here we have two types of permissions one is delegated permissions where it uses logged in users permission but here in this demo we are going to use application permissions in future I will make a video on the delegated permissions as well and search for user.read and here we have to choose user.read.all and add permissions so this is done and as we are using application level permissions, we have to get admin consent. So uh, this is this needs uh, uh, for the validation uh, because we are going to read the information of the users. They should be notified to the admin. Uh, but in this demo, I, I have logged in with my admin user account. So I'm giving the admin consent but in your organization uh, you have to get the consent from admin if you don't have the admin permissions so once the admin consent is given you will see this green tick mark over here and now i am going to create asp.net core web application i am choosing asp.net core web app model view controller And here I'm giving graph API DI demo. Now we have to add few NuGet packages as dependencies. Right click and manage NuGet packages go to browse and search for identity.web and here we have to install microsoft.identity.web click on accept in this demo, we are not going uh, to use identity.web.uidll. Uh, this is required if you want to implement sign out uh, uh, feature as well. Uh, I have explained Azure AD authentication with sign in and sign out in one of my YouTube videos. I'll keep the link in the description. But for this demo, I'm not going to use this. And also, we have to use Microsoft.identity.web.graph. So once this is done, now we have to add Azure AD related details in application configuration. And I'm giving this section name as Azure AD. And in this, we have to add these fields instance. So instance is the URL where our application will go for login so it should be login.microsoftonline.com and we have to give tenant id tenant id is the id of our 
Azure account. So if we go to the app registration and overview, we can get the tenant ID from here. And we have to give client ID. Client ID is the application ID. We have to go to the overview again. And here we have the client ID. Configure it over here. And we have to give the client secret. So we don't have the client secret yet. We have to go to certificates and secrets. And here we have to generate new client secret and i'm giving the name as graph api di demo secret click on add and copy the generated value from here go back to the application and provide the client secret and also we have to give a callback url so once we logged in Microsoft or the Azure uses this URL to come back to our application. So it should be dot slash sign in hyphen OIDC. OIDC stands for Open ID Connect. So once you log in with your Microsoft account on login.microsoft online, it will be redirected to this endpoint. Now this is done. Now we have to write code in the startup.cs class. I'm adding few namespaces over here using Microsoft.identity.web and also using Microsoft.graph. And here we have to add few methods services dot add microsoft web app authentication and it expects a parameter that is configuration and here if you see the method signature here the config section name is azure ad so i gave the same name over here but if you want to give something related to your application specific you can give any name but you have to pass that name as an argument over here here you have to pass but I have used the default value only so I am not giving any parameter and after that we have to add this enable token acquisition to call downstream API. This is required to acquire token uh, to call the downstream API in our application we are calling Microsoft graph as a downstream API and after that we have to use add in memory token caches uh, the application preserves the cache or the token in in memory and here I'm adding Microsoft Graph. So it has an overload which takes the authentication provider. So if you go to this, so we are going to use this overload. So we have to pass an authentication. I mean, it will pass the authentication overload as that is a callback. We have to pass the scopes initial scope so i am going to give the initial scope as new string array and i am going to use the default scope whatever the default scope that i am going to use and as we are using application level permissions we have to use client secret credential i'm pressing control dot so we have to use azure.identity and client secret cred is equal to new client secret credential and here we have to pass few parameters that we have to get from our configuration so string tenant id is equal to configuration we have the configuration property over here configuration dot get value and we are going to get string and we have to give the path like this so it should be azure ready and after that colon tenant id so as we have to get three more uh, two more parameters i am copying it three times and i am naming this as client id and 
client secret and we have to give the path over here client secret and i am passing those parameters over here tenant id client id and client secret now i am going to return graph service client and it expects the client secret credentials as a parameter constructor parameter Sorry, i missed new over here so now this configuration is done and now we have to do one more configuration that is go to the properties land settings.js and copy this ssl port and go to your app registration and here we have to specify the authentication for this application so i am clicking on add a platform our application is a web application so as we are running this in local i am going to use local host and the port number is the one that we have copied and here i am giving sign in hyphen oidc remember we have configured this sign in dot oidc inside our app settings dot json so when the application runs it first it goes to the uh, azure authentication site and once we provided the credentials it comes back to uh, this url to continue and here we are using microsoft grab and the token should be passed so we should we have to choose this checkbox and click on configure now go back to the controller and we have to add code related to microsoft graph private read on i'm declaring a field graph service client graph service client and as we are using this add microsoft graph it adds a microsoft graph as a dependency uh, before that uh, one more thing that we have to add we just have added the configuration related to uh, the dependencies only we have to add a few more things here services dot add mvc and here we have to provide our authentication uh, and authorization policies so i'm just mentioning a policy required new authorization policy builder pressing control dot and here we have to use this using that is there in the suggestions and uh, we are telling the application that we need a authenticated user and building the policy and after that we have to add this policy as a filter in our application so options dot filters that add new authorize filter again i'm pressing control dot and i'm using this namespace now we have to pass our policy and in the configure method after use routing we have to use app dot use authentication as well as we are going to use the authentication so this code uh, may look complex to you but if you divide these entire things into individual pieces it is very easy to understand and remember so now let us go back to our home controller and we have added the graph service client as a dependency over here uh, we have declared the field now i am going to add it as a dependency
now let us add code related to reading the users so in my active directory i have around three users i am using the grab service client dot users so this is the syntax that we have to follow request dot select and i'm going to select only the display name only but if you want to select more you can you you, you can uh, choose whatever you want over here but you have to pass an anonymous object over here so instead of using only the single uh, statement like i am declaring here you have to use an anonymous object or let me use that for this demo new selecting display name and x dot mail and now we have to write get async dot result and now i am putting a breakpoint over here everything has been set up now let us run the application So first it redirects to the login page. Now I am entering the username, clicking on next. I'm entering the password. Now it for now stay signed in. So now the application ran successfully and let us see if we got the user's information or not. So we got three users. Now I am expanding the first one. So as we have selected the display name, we got the display name. And also we have selected the email, uh, but uh, I think my user does not have the mail so let us go back and configure the mail uh, just to show so this is the user and i'm going to edit it and i'm going to give some mail over here so so here we have the email field so i'm giving test at testing.com so now we have done it let us run the application again as we have already logged in we'll directly go to this page skip for now and now let us verify the users again so we have selected the display name we got the display name and we got the email id as well so if you want to uh, get other information like calendar, uh, the meetings, there are a lot of things over here. If you want, you can select all those things. So that is all in this demo. So if you like my presentation, uh, your simple like and subscription is a great value for my YouTube channel. Uh, I request you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video.